I got you. Cool. All right, Kelsey, there was some big news today, but before we get to that, a couple of quick questions for you. Where did you go to college? University of Washington. And what state is the University of Washington in? Washington. Then why were you wearing South Carolina gear at the first few days? Yes, I lost the bet to uh, Asia. And of all days, she picked um, Tuesday for me to wear it into pregame. I'm a woman of my word. And so, unfortunately, I had to wear the scarlet. What does they call it? Scarlet red? And what was the bet? Uh, Arkansas played a... Uh, 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 South Carolina in women's basketball earlier this year. And I, I took my chances with the Razorbacks. You know, that's that's a Seattle connection with Mike Neighbors. And so uh, it was close. It was a close game. We didn't come through. And uh, for that, I had to pay the price. All right. Appreciate you clearing that up. Yeah. Let's go to some questions, which I assume everyone has heard by now. Kelsey Plum officially the WNBA Sixth Player of the Year. Nick, start us off. Yeah, I think, think um, for me, it's just uh, this was an opportunity. You know, I tried to make the most of this opportunity and uh, be the best version I could be for my team. And I feel like I've done that. And we'll continue to do that. And it's a stepping stone to net, to better things in the future. But for now, I'm just really focused on um, the, you know, this present moment and what I can do to help my team win. Talk a little bit about the depth of this team. I mean, you and Raquana really had big games in game one. Um, you talk about the, just the depth of this team and how anybody on any given night can really light it up against their opponent. That's how, that's how this team was structured. It was structured so, um, you know, we couldn't load up on – um, you know, Asia or Liz or uh, people like that and give, you know, the bigs an opportunity to go more one-on-one. -on -one. And I feel like everyone's done a tremendous job from Aquana to Chelsea to Dierica. Kia Stokes has done some phenomenal things for us. So, you know, we're just going to continue to be aggressive as individuals and uh, that makes our team better. Thank you again. Congratulations. Thank you. Sam? Hey, Kelsey, congratulations on the honor. Um, as far as tonight is concerned, the, the backcourt, you, you guys really presented their problems in game one. Are there any kind of adjustments that you're anticipating in, in game two? Yeah, I'm not really sure what they're going to what they're gonna do. If they're going to stick with the same pick and roll coverages or, um, you know, they might switch it up. But Sandy's a great coach. I know that they're going to throw some stuff at us. We have to be ready for. Um, so I, I really don't have an answer for you, but we'll find out tonight. What about the way that they defended y'all in game one um, created openings for you and, and your fellow back? I mean, I just think Asia draws so much attention that they didn't want to leave her. So, you know, because of how good she is and how much of a presence she has, the bigs are more uh, hesitant to stay on the pick and roll stuff. So I think I think whether that's on ball or off ball, they don't want to help off. And so when when you have that, it leaves the guards um, a little bit more, you know, open. Thank you, and congratulations again. Thank you. Mean Gene, just checking with you once again. Hey, uh, Kelsey, congratulations on your award. And you. uh, what 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 uh, do you plan to do different tonight as far as what you did Tuesday night? What, what's your mindset going into this game? Uh, my mindset's been the same all season. I've always played with a playoff intensity from game one till, till right now. So for me, in terms of my mindset, nothing changes. You know, throughout the game, I'm sure schematically there'll be some different things that we'll have to adjust to, but uh, same intensity, same same level of uh, fun, and uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Good luck tonight. Thanks. All right, last one, Miss Jennings. Kelsey, sorry uh, to bring up something that you may have been asked about before, but I was just curious, the Achilles tendon injury is something that at one point in time would end careers for athletes and sort of the WNBA, I don't know if we can call it a club of people who've had the injury come back to have great careers is growing. Um, I was just curious if you had talked to AT at all uh, during her injury, her comeback, and what it's meant to see her back on the court for these playoffs as well. Yeah, I got a chance to talk to her when we played Connecticut, uh, maybe about a month ago, and she wasn't clear to play yet, but she was working out before the game. I saw her. I was like, how are you doing? Just checking in. Um, and she was just asking me questions on what, what felt like I, it helped me. And so I just shared some of that 
And I told her, man, you're a beast. You'll be back. And she has been, she's been playing great and, you know, she's just going to continue to help her team. So, um, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy for her. It, it takes, it takes a village um, to come back from an Achilles injury. And so just a testament to Connecticut and their staff and how they've been able to help her get back. Cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kelsey. Before we let the media throngs go, though, real quickly, just a reminder that uh, Coach Lambeer has Zoom media availability before the game, approximately 5.23 p.m. Pacific time. And Dan Padover, general manager, will be joining him uh, as he was named today the WNBA's executive of the year for the second straight time. Thanks a lot. We'll see everybody tonight.